Hey Miles Hill, it's Dave here. Hope you're all well. Um, been thinking and praying for you guys over this Christmas period and it's been good to be able to see some of you. I just wanted to give a just a short message. It's the end of a year. I can't believe that 2020 has already gone. We're here on New Year's Eve. I just want to spend some time encouraging us as we look forward to 2021. And a passage that I read this morning that was a real encouragement to me was found in Psalm 143. Now you might have seen it, it pinged up on my phone this morning, and you may have seen it too. But it says this in verse 8. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. And I found that so helpful this morning. I woke up this morning not in the best place. You know, I guess maybe we all have those moments where you, know, you get out of bed on the wrong side. And I opened up my app to, to read the, the verse for today. And here it is. And wow, did it help me. And I really hope that it might help you too. As we look back, particularly over this year, and it's been a crazy year. And I know some of you guys have not been well over this time as well. And we've been praying for you. And I'm sure there's all kinds of concerns in terms of jobs, finances, food, you know, all of that sort of stuff being isolated. And so just let's just break this down for a moment as an encouragement. In verse 8 it says, let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, right at the beginning of the day. And I, I needed that this morning to remind, be reminded that God is love. It's not just an emotion. It's not just a feeling. It's the very nature of God, of who God is. God is love, the Bible tells us. And right from the beginning, right from the start of our day, sometimes we just need to be reminded of that. That he is love and that everything that he does is good. And it doesn't matter what we see going on around us. It doesn't matter how bad it is, how difficult it is. You know, sometimes I've had it where something breaks down and it all goes wrong. And I sometimes go, God, why is it all going wrong? And yet it still doesn't change the fact that God is love. The psalmist goes on to say, because of your steadfast love, for in you I will trust. Because God is love, we can totally trust in him. And we've certainly seen that as we've gone through the book of Genesis. That all through the ups and downs of all the different characters in Genesis, we've seen God's faithfulness and his love. It doesn't matter how bleak it's looked, God is still faithful. And therefore we can put our faith, our trust firmly in who God is and here again the psalmist reminds us doesn't matter how good your day is whether you've woken up in a good place or a bad place God is love and because of his love we can trust him and lastly he goes make me know the way I should go for to you I lift up my soul you know he's saying I lift up all that I am my my entire being to you I, I, I want it to be a place of praise and worship why because your love and because you are love, I can trust you. And because I can trust you, I can understand. I can, I can believe. I can ask for your will, for your plans on my life. And I can walk in them knowing they are the best. But what an encouragement as we look back over a crazy 2020. We look into 2021 with so much uncertainty to be reminded God is love. Because of his love, I can trust. And because I can trust him, I can ask him whatever it is that I need to. And if I walk in obedience to him, that is the best place I can be. You know, for many of us, we try and run around and we try to sort things out. And we think, you know, to control, to be in charge, to have things sorted, that's the safest place. Or to avoid, you know, conflict or to avoid dangerous situations, that's the safest place to be. But that's not what it says. The safest place for us to be is in the will of God. And as we press on to 2021, as we seek God over this year, let's ask him what he's saying and let's be willing to be obedient to, regardless of what it looks like. I remember listening to a missionary who once said that the safest place to be was in God's will. So that doesn't matter if you're in a persecuted country where you will be killed for your faith. That is still the safest place to be. And what it does is it changes our perspective on life changes our perspective and rather than us thinking this life is all that it is and I have to protect and consolidate we realize that this life is nothing compared to eternity and what God wants to do through us in bringing his kingdom of love to other people of healing to other people of salvation to other people 
in, means that we have to be willing to be obedient to him, whatever the cost. Which is why Paul tells us that to live is Christ, to die is gain. To, to live my whole life for Jesus Christ is the greatest gain I can have, regardless of what hardships it brings me into. And if even in the process of that I die, it's still gain. Being a Christian and walking in the will of God is the safest and best place we can ever be. It is always a win-win situation when our minds are eternally minded. So if we live on this earth and we live for Jesus and other people we get impacted by his love and find him and get saved, awesome. If we die in the process, we get to be with him, awesome. We cannot lose out. The only way we can lose out is if we step outside of his will. If we decide, okay, look, I, I just want to hide myself. I want to be, I want to protect myself. I want to look after myself. I want to make decisions on what I think is best. That, that's the way we're going to miss out on God's will for us. But when we say, no, you know better than I do. In your steadfast love, I will trust. Make known to me your will and your ways, just as the psalmist says, and I will walk in them because my soul will be of worship to you. So as we springboard into 2021, that is going to be my encouragement to us. And remind ourselves that it really doesn't matter how difficult it is. Remember what, what, what Joseph said that we read right at the end of Genesis. He said, what you meant for evil and he's talking to his brothers and and the work of the enemy through them to to kill him and destroy his life what they meant for evil god was using for good and and, and so even as the evil of this virus continues to spread god still wants to use it for good and my question to us as a church is what is going to be our response are we seeking God for his will or are we making decisions based on what we think is best as we go into 2021 we really need to hear God's heart because as Joseph reminds us evil may come our way you know we could get sick we could contract the disease all of these kinds of stuff and yet God still wants to use these things for good God is sovereign God is in control God is good we can totally trust him and so the only question is God what are you saying and the, and then the answer to that is will we be obedient to what he asks so, so as, I, as we move forward into 2021 and whatever views you have on everything that's going on in the moment, may I encourage you to seek it. So what we're going to do, you'll see in your emails, is we've put together a reading plan. And you may have seen that in your meditation today. Um, we, rather than us doing meditations for you now, we want us as a church to be reading together. So we've put together a reading plan. You've got the whole of January to get you started. It's going to go alongside the new series that we're running called Simply Church. And we're going to be looking at what does it actually mean to be church. And I really encourage you to tune into that. Come along on a Sunday if you can. Sundays are still open and running. Come along on a Sunday if you can. Or if you can't, you know, Zoom it in or Facebook it in. Sorry, it's live streamed, isn't it? Make sure you're connecting with your connect groups because we're going to be discussing what does it actually mean to be church today. Are we actually putting into practice the things I'm encouraging us with? Are we really trusting in God's love and faithfulness and goodness? And so we're going to be doing this series called Simply Church. And the meditation, uh, not the meditation, the reading plan that we've put together will go alongside them. And so what that means is there'll be some passages that you can read each day. You can then spend some time thinking about it, like, like it says in, in the Gospels, how, how Mary pondered on what the angel had said. Let's ponder on, meditate on the word of God ourselves, journal things down that the Holy Spirit reveals, and start to allow that to feed you and become an overflow in your life. So that when you bump into somebody within the church, we can still meet up for one-to-ones, even in tier three. Uh, and you're, you're going for you can talk about these passages you can ask questions about these passages when we come to connect group or meet on a sunday and i go through this teaching series we can all be reading and growing and building and encouraging one another up so look out for that it will start tomorrow a new reading plan to go alongside our new series called simply church really encourage you to plug into as many things as you can Allow the Holy Spirit to encourage you, to build you up, to direct you, to speak to you. Don't let other people's circumstances or fear dictate to you or speak to you. Don't allow them to cause you to read into your own thoughts or fears into the Word of God. But allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you out of what He has to say. Out of that, that perfect love that drives out fear. And then use that to encourage one another, build one another up. Because I do believe, like the Bible says... 
that the fields are white for harvest. They're more white than they've ever been. People are ready to hear the gospel. And, they, uh, and people are, the Holy Spirit is looking for willing people in which he can bring that gospel to others. So as we stir one another up, as we get built up in Jesus, he will send us out to bring others back into the fold. So let me finish once again with this passage as an encouragement to you as we end 2020 and as we look into 2021 let us be reminded of this psalm 143 verse 8 let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love for in you i trust make me know the way i should go for to you i lift up my soul yeah, yeah.